Mongrel is easily one of the most popular Fortnite pro players in the world, and when it seemed like he couldn't be stopped, he one day just disappeared. So today we're watching a video from Aussie Antiques explaining the disappearance of Mongrel. I live with 50 HP. Hey, GG's bro! He has so many classic <laughs> clips and sayings, bro. Sing, 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 there we go. Sing, sing. Mongrel, one of the most influential faces in Fortnite. From dominating tournaments and uploading super viral content to then suddenly disappearing. Where did he go? And why do I think he's coming back? To answer this, we need Wait, to hold up. Back. When was this posted? This was posted three months ago. He, he has, I don't think he's come back, the right? the very beginning. Kyle Mongrel Jackson has been playing games his entire life playing games such as Halo and Call of Duty competitively when he was only nine years old. That's crazy. Even at this early age, he showed incredible talent, topping many public leaderboards. It was at this time that the battle royale genre began taking the gaming world by storm, and Mongrel, already excelling, jumped into H1Z1 and later PUBG, honing his skills as one of the most aggressive and dominant fraggers on any island. While in the early days of Fortnite, most players saw building as a bit of a novelty, throwing up a wall to block a few shots or building a one by one to camp in, Mongrel recognized its true potential. He began to change how people saw and played Fortnite. Yep. However, in the early days, this was often met with ridicule rather than respect. And in the beginning, it kind of still is a lot of the times people don't really for how he respect played. people who are good at building. What the f man? My fucking 90s are bot, man. <laughs> Pros <laughs> and viewers often said he was trying too hard and he was doing too much. A lot of professionals even thinking that building and editing as much as he did was only to style on bots. Mongrel didn't care. He continued to hone his skills and quickly became one of his the aim best builders in the game. He would upload highlights and stream all his games and very quickly began to gain a lot of attention. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, 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 He starts dancing on him in the middle of the tournament. He would even do an interview with the BBC in April of 2018, one of the biggest news publishers in the world, highlighting his introduction into competitive gaming and incredible skill at Fortnite. Kyle Jackson is so good at Fortnite that he's- Why is everyone named Kyle good at Fortnite? Booga's name is Kyle, Mongrel's name is Kyle. I used to play with a team of professional gamers. Mongrel's reputation and subsequently his content was booming. By the end of 2018, he was averaging over 7,000 viewers on Twitch, pulling in millions of views with every YouTube video and created some of the most memorable content of early Fortnite. What? Oh! No, not the keyboard. <laughs> What a final in the end. Sing, 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 sing. Sing, sing, sing. Oh, no. Mongo. Hey, GG's, bro. Good fight, man. I really like having a balanced fight. GG. Everything was looking up for Mongrel. He began to oh become my God. one of the most feared and respected players in the game. Those who originally made fun of him began <laughs> to realize he was the future of Fortnite. This was before the days of cash cups and FNCS. He would upload videos of him dropping 30 and 40 bombs in public matches, as well as popping off in scrims. But how could you truly prove you were the best? There was one tournament every single week that had the entire community watching. Friday, Friday Fortnite. Fortnite. That's when I first kill race uh, and no got introduced to Mongrel, actually. Big games than Mongrel. Dead. Yes! I got both kills. He's on me. I'm editing. Dead. I killed one. No way. Not. He ended up winning, right? In his first try to Fortnite. Just like me. There was, however, only one thing that could stop Mongrel. His age. At this point in Fortnite, the competitive age limit was 16. He mm. was only 13 going on 14, meaning he could not compete in any of the skirmishes or official Fortnite tournaments. 
Left to continue grinding pub kill races and smaller third party tourneys, Mongrel did not let this stop him. He would take any chance to prove he had. I wonder if Fortnite, to be on top. if Fortnite never the biggest uh, lowered the age for competitive, a lot of pro players would have never competed. community was waiting and even fearing the day when players like mongrel mr savage benji fishy and so many more could be unleashed into official tournaments and they didn't have to wait much longer not only would fortnite announce they would be lowering the age limit to compete to 13 they, they announced would the 100 million the prize pool online tournament in gaming history the world cup the fortnite world cup yep. Dead, dead, dead. On the <laughs> this was everything Mongrel had been waiting for. The chance to finally playing in the World was Cup the was fun, man. Like playing best. the qualifiers was so long. fun. Alongside Mitro, they would play second in the first week of duos, qualifying themselves straight to New York. However, despite incredible duo placements in the qualifiers, Mongrel was struggling in solos. When the final week of solos came around, he had one final chance to make it. A lot of people counting him out with one final game, he pulled off one of the greatest clutches in Fortnite history. He's saying just ahead, just oh, this sight. this was the the game that qualified him for the World Cup. That's crazy. Because I remember seeing this clutch. I didn't realize it was it was this game. Because look, he has 14 eliminations. Are you serious? 13 eliminations. There's still four players left, including him. That is down. No way. Are you doing this right now, Margo? No way. Top three situation now. Gonna get the time for the, for the minis. And now reloading the double RPG as well. Zoo is gonna go down in another one. Margo, are you kidding me? He finally did it. The grind paid off. He was given his chance to compete and prove everyone who Oh yeah, him the clicks and skeptic clip. Yet. Making it to World Cup was one thing. Now we had to try and win it. All the way above him, knocks the structure down, and the player does manage to catch himself and maintain the high ground positioning here. We have some great players still left in this game, but Mongrel with four eliminations is looking for number five, and that was on Nate. We're now down to the final moment. Top five. Does he get a win? He has to fully commit there. Those are the maps that he needs. He's still in the game here. He's going to go all the way for it, and that's a trade. Oh, oh my God. Booga got third right there. Wait, that guy went into Storm. Oh, okay. okay. Som. A very impressive 13th in solos and 6th in duos. That's actually not bad at all. consistent World Cup player across both game modes, taking home a clean $375,000. With World Cup over, a new era of competitive Fortnite would begin. The Fortnite Championship FNCS. Series. And a switch from duos as the competitive team game mode to trios. Oh, this is where Mitchell he really no takes over. So it was about finding a third player who could match this. Him, and Mitro, and Benji Fishy. Enter Benji Fishy. And the formation of one of the most legendary teams. This is one of the most Fortnite. dominant trios M I've ever seen. Dead. Nice. Go. Hey, not. UMP illusion. Son. Dead. Not. Not dead. One pump. Nice. <laughs> this team would absolutely dominate Trio FNCS, coming second, second, first, and first in the qualifiers. And that, and that got them a lot of money. Thousand dollars each before the grand finals even started. With these incredible placements, the trio was the clear favorite to take home the four hundred and eighty thousand dollar first place prize. Did they However, win though? The finals did not go to plan. Yeah. Why did that kid just go? What? Wait, it's they invisible. had. 
Was that in the tournament? The mecha is invisible for me. Against the mechs, there was little even Mongrel, Metro, and No Benji way the do. mechs were in they the tourney like that. They ended up 10th in the grand finals. Despite this disappointing finish in the finals, the trio live streaming every single tournament saw Mongrel's Twitch and YouTube explode, pulling in almost 30,000 yep. average viewers in the month of September, peaking at over 75,000 viewers, all while his videos would pull in millions and millions of views. Mongrel would continue it was a good time for everybody. Up, putting up solid placements all while streaming and creating content on everything he played, placing second in squad FNCS, 15th in duo FNCS, and 26th and 16th in solo FNCS. There had now been five FNCSs, and many people began to question Mongrel's position as one of the best players in the world as he was yet to win a championship. With the they always do that. Of trios no matter how well you do, if you don't win four, first place, they're gonna start questioning Mongo, you. Mitro and Benji to reform and run it back again. This time, claiming the crowns that were rightfully theirs. However, in a decision that shocked many, Mongrel and Mitro decided to pick up Tayson, the winner of solo FNCS. Tayson is a beast. Still relatively unknown face in the scene, as he did not even compete in the World Cup. The main reason for this pickup was the fact that Mongrel and Mitro having more than enough firepower needed an IGL, a player to tell them what to do and bring a smarter mm -hmm. and more controlled approach to the game. This made sense in theory, but in game, however... This is back when you could do the black and black superhero. You can't do that anymore in, in comp, I don't think. Or right, Tayson, we're not hearing many comps from the little IGL here. Yeah, what are you guys doing, man? What are you doing? I need some comms, though. No, no, we're not even saying anything. Yeah. Yeah, of course you interrupted middle zone. Sorry, we're not. Wow, they're so unserious. <laughs> Same. From these clips alone, you would think there is absolutely no chance that this trio would pull off one of the most memorable FNCS wins ever. Ooh, what a pump. What is it? What is it? Oh, I love that. Let's go! Mongrel, Mitro, and Tayson found themselves in first place by over 60 points wow. with only four games remaining. The grand final was all but over until Thomas HD, Anas, and Flick decided to change things up, switching their drop spot to begin contesting Mongrel's trio. No way. This would be disastrous. The team would begin struggling, placing 32nd, 21st, and 31st in the next three games. No way. This would see their lead cut down to only 20 points going into the final game ah, of the tournament. At this point, a lot, there was but it's only not enough. one team that could beat them. Janus, Andalex, and x -Sweezy. With a very good chance that if they go to Stark Industries and go down, they will lose their lead. They made a bold and incredibly controversial decision. They landed on Andalex's team, knowing yep. that if they lose this spawn fight, they will have thrown their tournament. This right here, this engagement. I love these. I love these sands, like last game, first FNC place and second place land on each other. Championship. It's going to be crazy. I love it. Luckily for them, their gamble pays off. Scared to take an all-out engagement on foreign territory, they instead managed to hold down Janus, Andalex, and x -Weezy, securing Mongrel's first ever FNCS win. Nice. Mongrel finally had his FNCS crown. He was one of the most popular creators on the game. What could go wrong? Sadly, after this FNCS win, Mongrel would struggle to continue this same level of domination. Instead of it's just hard to first, keep doing it for so long, you know, to even make the grand finals. He would also begin to stream and upload less and less going entire months without posting any content. But why? What happened? One theory is that his insane mechanics and aggression was no longer enough. Fortnite competitive was progressing and you could no longer get by off sheer mechanics alone. Yeah. This is supported by Tayson, who despite winning FNCS, instantly split with Mongrel and Mitro, going on to have the most decorated career of any player after the World Cup. While this might be the case, I would argue that this is due to a bigger reason, a lack of passion. 
Mm -hmm, there is no mm -hmm. reason Mo that's, I think that's it. applied himself to VOD reviewing, working with coaches, and understanding the game as it progressed. He chose not to. His reasons for this were only left to guess. The diminishing prize pools, Fortnite removing many of the fun items. People have even argued it's because Fortnite removed the spaz. You have to remember, at the end of Chapter 3, Mongrel had now been grinding the game almost every single day for almost for five over years. four years. He started playing seriously when he was 13 and was now approaching 18 years of age. He does have brief periods of returning full of motivation and optimism, but sadly, it rarely seems to last. It makes sense. His priorities shifted. After a long absence on social media, Mongrel began posting about his health, fitness, and travel journeys. While many supporters were happy to see Mongrel growing up, many wonder if he'll ever return to the game. While he's maintained a presence doing didn't he win like a, a million or two million dollars at in this point in time crypto game? it does not look like he will be returning to fortnite as for what he's up to currently he just managed to make more than double his entire earnings in fortnite in a single day yeah. when he was the overall winner of the board ape yacht club's most recent competition dookie dash mongrel set the best run on the game earning himself the key which he went on to sell for 1,000 Ethereum, or 1.6 million That's US crazy. dollars. To put that into perspective, Mongrel's official earnings from Fortnite sits at just over 700,000 US dollars. While you could point to this and say, oh, that's why he quit, he doesn't need the money anymore. I well, think he never needed the money. Mongrel's journey and career knows that it was never about the money. Yeah. It was about competing. It was about winning. So where does that leave us now? Will Mongrel return to Fortnite? I would honestly say most likely, but will it be to compete and stream every Probably tournament, upload not. regular videos? Probably not. Yeah. I'm sure he will jump on for a new season or big update, but his last YouTube upload was February 1st, and he's only gone live three times so far this year. I could be wrong though. He has never made an official retirement post. He clearly has the talent and passion to make it happen. If Mongrel Let's see. Yeah, he hasn't uploaded. Will Mongrel return to Fortnite? I would honestly say most likely three times so far this year. I could be wrong though. He has never made an official retirement post. He clearly has the talent and passion to make it happen. If Mongrel returns to competitive Fortnite, the community will welcome him back with open arms. He has created some of the most legendary content on the game and is undeniably one of the all-time greats. Yo, great video from Aussie Antiques. If you guys are not subscribed to him, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.